when using Adagio receivables. Various configuration options are available to tailor usage to your company requirements. Access these company-wide settings from the Edit menu and select Company Profile, or click the Profile button on the toolbar. There are many tabs that contain organized options for the company. The Company Data tab stores the name and address and the home currency code used across the company. If you plan to integrate with Adagio Multi-Currency, enable this setting to allow multiple currencies and exchange rates for transactions. This option cannot be disabled once it has been saved. The Integration tab has options for working with Adagio Ledger, including enabling batch entry features, what information gets sent to Ledger batch descriptions, and whether document dates can be in closed fiscal periods. If Adagio job cost is used, integration must be enabled to activate the other settings for accounting and whether just the job number or the entire job estimate is used within batch entry. If Adagio bank rec is used, an option here must be enabled for posted cash entries to be retrievable into a bank rec batch. The system options tab has a number of options general to the program, including transaction history maintenance, enabling specific fields for editing, customer address formatting, and configuring interest charges. From here, you can determine the timing of when completed transactions are moved to history. The Customer tab is a place to assign default values as desired when creating new customer records settings for determining and using customer ID codes, and whether customers with history can be deleted. Settings here can allow standardizing customer code entry by preventing those that don't match the format, and assist in locating customer numbers quicker from the Finder grid. The Batch tab has settings particular to transaction entry, including default batch names by transaction type, determining when a batch is ready to post, and other specific behavior in batches. Settings here can provide warnings or prompts in the midst of batch entry and control visibility of particular fields or features. The Statement Reports tab is the place to enter customer statement preferences, such as the number of days to age outstanding invoices, default specifications by sending type, and options that affect printing management reports, including integration to Adagio ePrint. These settings assist in ensuring that correct statements and reports are generated in the desired way, in the most appropriate timing. The Tax Information tab is where you enter the descriptions for possible customer taxable statuses, with up to 10 possible descriptions, primarily used by other Adagio invoicing solutions. If more than one of these solutions is installed, then a specific application tax table must be selected for lookup when editing customers or ship to addresses. The Optional Fields tab is a place to determine additional field information for customers or batches, not already part of the standard field list, by entering a label for the required data type. These fields then appear on the respective screens for entry and storage. And the Invoicing Specs tab allows setting default spec forms for integrated invoicing solutions to include on newly created customers. These selections are not used when printing specifications from these programs. Optimize using Adagio receivables with proper planning for company profile settings. For more information about Adagio accounting, use these links on screen or from the video description. Thanks for watching.